Hey, what's happening guys? It's Bharat Nagpal for IGN Red In and today we are looking at the new Asus Zenfone A450CG. Now this is a new version of the Asus Zenfone 4 and it's just been announced. It has an Intel Atom hyper-threading enabled uh, chipset on the inside. So uh, that's great. It's running Android uh, KitKat out of the box and we're going to be checking out some of the details on uh, this guy real quick. So we'll start off with storage and you'll see that total available space is 4.54 uh, gigabyte out of the 8 gigabyte and out of which after installing my applications and all I only have 1.3 gigabyte left. Unfortunately you don't have the ability to move apps to the SD card which will be disappointing for some people. So you can install up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card to expand your storage capabilities but you cannot transfer your applications to that so you'll have to deal with the 4 odd gigabyte of available space for your apps uh, whereas you can store your photographs, music as well as videos on the SD card. So we have no recently running applications, we're going to jump directly into Quadrant Advanced real quick. Go into system information. You can see it's running Android 4.4.2, it's the Asus Zenfone. You can see we have quad cores, so we have 1.2 gigahertz on uh, the clock or the frequency, we have 1 gigabyte of RAM and if we go into display you can see we have a 480 by 854 pixel resolution, so not even in HD, uh, 480p is the resolution and you have the SGX544 MP GPU. Only a few sensors here, 3 axis accelerometer, magnetic fluid sensor, orientation sensor, proximity sensor and a virtual orientation sensor. Let's run a full benchmark. The scores are in, the device scores a pretty decent 7155 on the Quadrant Advanced benchmark and you can see the detail scores are over here. I'm going to go ahead and move into multi-touch uh, tester and see what this device is capable of. In terms of uh, multi-touch, we get a 10-point multi-touch screen, which is fantastic. We get a total of 10-point uh, multi-touch, uh, which will come in really handy, and the touch screen is very, very responsive. I also have this uh, really cool application in here. It's called What Is Your Next? And it basically uh, tells you what is going to happen, and you can see that it shows you the holidays, and you can also uh, sort of put in uh, your notifications, and you can integrate it with your applications as well. So this is really cool in case you have uh, problems remembering stuff, this app should come in really, really handy. We're going to run a full Antutu benchmark and see what the score is like on this. Hopefully we're going to get the newer graphic tests for Antutu. You can see a total score of 18,562 which is not at all impressive, it's under the 20,000 limit and you can see that uh, CPU is essentially what is getting affected, CPU, RAM as well as I'm guessing graphics as well, 2D graphics and 3D graphics are actually good. So it's mostly the CPU that is underperforming on this, so 18,000 is a definite low score for the device. So we have two games to check out. We'll start with Batman and then we'll move on to Asphalt 8. So Batman seems to work really well on uh, the Asus A450 CG. Graphics were good, audio is really loud and uh, overall gaming experience is great. Watch a bit of the gameplay and decide for yourself. Next we're going to check out Asphalt 8 Airborne. So you can see it's running on medium graphics and I'm going to go ahead and start the game. So 
So Asphalt 8 gaming seems to be really awesome. Uh, game response is really fantastic and graphics and all of those things are laid out perfectly. We are playing on medium graphics and when we played on full graphics we saw a little bit of a slowdown in terms of the overall response from the game. Touch response is great and audio quality is excellent. Watch a bit of the gaming on Asphalt 8 and then you can decide for yourself. This has been a video on benchmarks in gaming on the ASUS A450 along with a couple of questions about storage etc. Be sure to check out iGAN in for more details, catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube for your daily dose on tech, youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV for iGAN Networks. This has been Bharat Nagpal, thank you guys for watching.